Welcome to step 10, secure data in transit. When data is transferred across an insecure medium, you risk the data may be sniffed by black hats. So encrypt it. When we say sniffed, we mean that it's captured. So they could use a program like Wireshark or many, many other utilities to capture that data so they can look at it. Now an insecure medium uh, means the internet or in the, the air, in the case of uh, Wi-Fi. To secure the data, the sender must encrypt it while it is crossing the insecure medium, and then it must be decrypted by the receiver. Cryptology is the science of concealing information from others. In cryptology, we deal with plain text, which is the same as clear text, which is, which is data that can easily be read by anybody. We encrypt the data into ciphertext, which makes it difficult to read by others. Hopefully, very difficult. Ciphertext can be decrypted to get back the original clear text. Cryptology allows us to achieve different security goals, confidentiality, integrity, authentication, and non-repudiation. Confidentiality means keeping the information secret. Integrity means ensuring that the data has not been altered in transit. Authentication means proving identity. Non-repudiation means a party cannot deny that they sent a specific message. Non-repudiation is probably the least intuitive of these, so we can give an example of that. Uh, supposing a, uh, a person uh, sends an email to buy a stock, uh, and then that's, you know, an hour later that stock tanks. Well, then that person might say, well, I never sent you an email to buy it. Non-repudiation means that it can be proved that they actually did send that order to buy that stock. Secure data with a site-to-site -site VPN. Now, a site-to-site -site VPN allows two networks to communicate securely over the public internet. Suppose a company has an office in New York and an office in Los Angeles. A security appliance is configured at each end and all data going between the offices must pass through the security appliance before it reaches the internet. Therefore, any user communicating with the other office will have his data automatically encrypted for transfer. Secure data with a client-based VPN. Here, a piece of software is installed on the end user's PC. This allows the remote user to establish a VPN from his laptop to the security appliance on their home network. When we say home network, we don't mean a home where you live, but the home office, you know, the, the main office. The VPN allows all data between the laptop and the remote network to be tunneled and therefore encrypted. So you really don't care if the local connection is secure or not, because even if the data could be sniffed by a black hat, they would not be able to decipher the encrypted data and thus would not be able to read it. Take steps to secure your Wi-Fi with WPA2, personal or enterprise. Anytime Wi-Fi is used, there is the potential that the RF signal, radio frequency signal, could be sniffed by a black hat who was able to receive that signal. Wi-Fi is inherently more insecure than wired transmission because the RF signal could be picked up by somebody sitting outside the building. WPA2 is built into wireless access points specifically for the purpose. Earlier versions of Wi-Fi, uh, the security was WPA and WEP, which are now pretty much obsolete. 
insecure and should not be used. WPA2 comes in two flavors. Personal, which uses a pre-shared key. All uses having the same pre-shared key. Enterprise, which uses a radius server. Each uh, user has a unique key. So what we find is that personal is easier to set up. Enterprise is more difficult to set up, but more secure, at least more secure for enterprise environments. Secure web transactions. If you are buying something on the internet and you must send credit information or credit card information from your PC to the vendor server, obviously this needs to be secure. SSL, Secure Sockets Layer, is built into your browser and allows a secure connection from your PC to the vendor server. Most websites that exchange confidential user information automatically protect the session using SSL. So there is nothing special to install. You just need to verify that it is being implemented when you need it. That is the end of this lecture. Thanks for watching.